Shines and welcome back to Slim Thick Curls. So today I'm going to be taking down my Fake the Funk Protective Style. This was crochet style that I put in myself. So by no means a professional hairstyle. We did what we could do with it, but it's time to take it out. So let's go ahead and jump right into taking it out. So I just had this scarf on my head. I worked out. So I just needed to have it off of my face, off of my neck, because it was getting really hot. So this is what we're looking like for now. And as you see, a hot mess. You can clearly see why I'm saying it's time to just go ahead and take this down. Mm. But today I have some products behind me that I'm going to be using to help me with the process in any time that I take down any protective style, braids, sew-ins, it doesn't even matter. I always have to use my favorite detangler, which is my main and tail detangler right behind me. I don't take down any protective styles without it. It is a life saver. Any kinks, knots, anything that I have in my head where it's like I can't get this hair to come out where I think something's about to be matted. If you haven't used it, I don't know what you're waiting for because it's magic in a bottle. For real. So I'm going to use that and um, before I wash my hair, I'm going to do a pre poo So after I detangle everything, I'm going to use my Aussie Moist Conditioner to put in my hair and Really, I'm just trying to get rid of this oil behind me, which is my wild um, growth oil. And it's just, it's okay. I have another one that I prefer to use, but to get rid of this one, it's gonna go on my hair with the conditioner. So let's jump right into it. It feels so good to have that down. Alright, so there's some bobby pins back here holding some stuff together. So don't be alarmed when you see me taking stuff out of my head. So here's the first one. And the second one. There was some more in there. But when I had my hair up, it was kind of stabbing me in the head. So I had to go ahead and take that out. But the reason I had those in there is because I don't know how to braid. So it was me just trying to figure it out, make the hairstyle work. And when I say I don't know how to braid, I mean I don't know how to cornrow. So I know how to do regular braids. So once I finished doing the regular braids, I needed to have them to be in my head and be connected some type of way so they're not just hanging out and showing like this. So as you can see, that is one of my braids. It's not connected to anything, now that the bug pin is out. So, <laughs> so straight foolery. But hey, we gotta do what we do to make things work around here. So, so I think I'm gonna start from this side. And it's just gonna be taking this out with my fingers. Hopefully I can do this without a mirror because right now I'm just recording on the camera and it's gonna have to start the purposes of a mirror for now. Okay. One down, about 80 more to go. So I am going to be saving this hair so that I can try this hairstyle over again. Hopefully it won't be a fake the funk hairstyle the next go around. Hopefully um, some things that I've learned off of YouTube, I'll be able to incorporate and hopefully that'll give me a better style. That won't be so, girl, who did your hair and why? 
and I hope you didn't pay for it. So, more to come on that in a separate video as to how I'm going to try and pull that off. Y'all, when I say I cannot see, I mean, I cannot see. Y'all, so I've been watching videos of girls putting in their crochet braids, talking about it only took me 30 minutes. It only took me 45 minutes, less than two hours. Can I just say that it took me longer than that just to take this stuff out my head? And keep in mind, that does not include me taking out, if you want to call them braids, out my head. That's only taking the crochet twist out of my head. It was so much struggle. Look at this. Just look at this right here. Why is that even there? Don't even have my braids connected to my head. But so many knots and tangles like this. Like, why is this even happening? I don't know what I did when I put this stuff in my head, but this is all throughout the head. Now, it's not my whole head, but the struggle is real. So you're going to see that this happens several times. Thankfully, I did not pull my hair out. It looked like I was pulling my hair out right there, but I promise I did not. I was being gentle. Everything is in fast forward mode. So it really was me being gentle, but I'm just like, I gotta do better the next time, <laughs> seriously, because I can't keep walking around looking like this. Arms is tired. I mean, this was a show enough workout. I was just so happy to be done when I was done. But I am trying to preserve the hair, so I'm twisting everything up to try to preserve it as best as possible, which I'll be doing another video on how I prep the hair and how I'm going to put the hair back in. But baby, this was some fluffy. I'm just glad that when I was walking around the house or in my yard, because you know we can't go nowhere, that thankfully a twist didn't fall out my head or my braids didn't slide out from the back because <laughs> it's just a hot mess. I was joking earlier saying I had 80 more twists to go. Well, turns out that wasn't a joke because it was 77 twists in my head. I had no idea I had that many twists in my head. Now I was able to say all of the twists except for this Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. You're staring at you on the set plane. I ain't worried about nothing, cause you got me feeling like the Wayne Wade in 03. Yeah, you and me, we got the heat. So bump all that anxiety. But you hit to the side of me. I feel like I'm gliding. And honestly, look, I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. That you wish you had made plans without me. Tell me what it ain't. Trigger happy, you looking by. I might just detonate. Yeah. Tell them dudes that can fall back. Kid in the kill, I need all that. Let them call, but don't call back. Let them call, but don't. Uh. I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. That you wish you had made plans without me. Look, I hate to make this song about me. But I really want to tell you that. I still get goosebumps whenever you call.
So as you saw, I just finished detangling the left side of my head and I used my mane and tail detangler, my fingers, and my denim brush. And you can see here in this clip here that my edges are a lot thinner in the front on that side. And after I had my daughter, they just never returned and were the same. If you guys have any suggestions on how to help a sister out, leave it in the comments below. And here I'm just taking the denim brush, taking out all the shed hair that I was able to get while detangling with the brush. And I'm going to show you a comparison of what it was when I did with my fingers, which is on the left, as to what it was on the right when I did it with the denim brush and then both together. So it wasn't a lot by any means, it just looks like a little ball, which is normal because we shed so much hair every day. Um, so I was pleased with the amount that came out just on one side of my head. So now I'm just going to repeat the process on the right hand side and just ooh, look at that. <laughs> Y'all, I'm out here looking crazy by the head, but it's all good. Ooh, and this scratch right here. Y'all, if y'all could just feel the scratching that was taking place when I was doing it. It felt so good. I just kept going back over and over and over again. Getting the top of my head. Oh, that right there. Right there. So, so good. Oh, and let's not forget about the Nate. Cause that got some love too. Ooh, this feeling so good, y'all. I wish I could just feel it. So now I'm just about to show you the same thing I showed you when I was taking the shed hair out. On the left hand side will be from me finger detangling, right hand side is from the actual demon brush. And then now I'm just showing you everything from the left hand side and the right hand side of my head. So just two small balls, nothing to be alarmed about. And now I'm just going to finish this off with the Wild Growth Moisturizing Oil that I don't really care for. So I'm not going to put it in my scalp. I'm just going to put it on the hair. And after that, I'm just going to put my shower cap on and be done. So we are finally finished. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Toodles. Mwah.